Today was a great day. We had a pretty good start um, and uh, we were a bit slow to the windward mark, but we're a very heavy boat, so it's difficult for us in these conditions. Um, but then after that, we were, it was downwind for a couple of legs and that uh, is great for this boat. And so we started to catch up. Um, so Eileen, uh, you know, originally 1936, she was uh, built. Uh, William Fife design, William Fife III. And uh, built in Scotland for the Fulton brothers. She's actually a Bermudan catch, which are, and is a, designed as a cruising boat rather than racing boat, which is why we find it a little bit difficult in these light Mediterranean conditions. The restoration that was completed on Eileen was uh, uh, both... Uh, it was to preserve what she, what could be preserved, and uh, to obviously make new the the areas that couldn't. So, and um, the planking, it's a planking uh, construction on a steel frames. So the planking is like 80% uh, original, and the frames are are all had to be renewed because they were all rusty. And then the interior, most of that is new. Um, but again, even fittings like door handles and things that were from the original boat are still here. Uh, of course, the obligatory Panerai instruments. We have, uh, there's a chronometer, um, a hygrometer, a uh, thermometer and a, chrono um, and a uh, barometer. And uh, the, the instruments all have the Eileen uh, Fife Dragon on board, which is uh, perfect to, uh, you know, synonymous with uh, William Fife design boats. Well, I think they're I think they look beautiful. There's also, we also have a, a gimbal a chronometer. Gimbling as in it can move uh, with the boat. So as the boat tips, the, the clock remains level. Um, this is a very nice, uh, nice piece of Panerai work. The job is a fantastic job. Um, obviously, there's a lot of responsibility uh, because you're looking after the boat, you're looking after the crew, the guests. And uh, and you're looking after the other boats as well. So uh, you know, if you're on a race course, you like to be competitive. It's you know, it's a it's a challenge to find a fine line. I fell into it. I was a keen dinghy sailor when I was young, and I fell into um, classic sailing when I left university uh, through a lucky contact. And that was 15 years ago. And so for the last 15 years, I've been on various classics. I've learnt the trade and uh, I finally managed to, and very fortunately for me, um, became the captain on board Eileen. Well, firstly, how she moves on the water. Um, traditional boats, they, because they have the long keels, they tend to sort of um, slide through the water. They have a completely different movement. They kind, I like to think they kind of caress the waves more than, um, you know, are against them. But with a the classic, there's something more angelic and uh, uh, natural about it. Maybe because they're heavier, maybe because they're made of wood and steel and slightly, for me, more malleable things. Um, but uh, yeah, for all those who love the classic boats, uh, it's very difficult to, to go to modern uh, if you're as passionate about it as I am.